Thanks for joining the webinar today. My name is Scott Cunningham, and today's webinar is going to focus on the importance of right sizing your marking system integration. And I'll go through providing you with some tips and examples of ways to do that and, and why that's so important. Well, let's get started. All right, so before we get started in this webinar, I do want to remind everyone on the line that uh, we at MECO are very willing to schedule any um, small you know, company exclusive web meeting or virtual workshop to get more in the weeds in any of the you know, applications or solutions in which you may have uh, specific interest. This webinar is really going to focus a little higher level uh, where we'll go through you know, quick introduction and the importance of direct part marking. Uh, for tracking parts through manufacturing. We'll talk about some of the trends that we see. Uh, we'll discuss some of the challenges associated with designing a solution. Uh, one solution that does, you know, sort of everything mediocre uh, versus, you know, any one thing well. And then we'll go through kind of sharing best practices that really should help you with your integration planning process. Uh, at, at the end, uh, I'll hold the line open and address any questions that you uh, may have that uh, you'd like to uh, have brought up or, or addressed at this point, or if you have any other topics or, or uh, ideas for future webinars, uh, feel free to communicate those as well. So at MECO, uh, we've been enabling traceability for more than 130 years. And we worked with manufacturers in really every industry to implement part marking solutions that meet the specific needs of their expectations. The benefits of traceability are tangible. And as a Rockwell and Compass partner at MECO, we have been provided aggregate data to you know, prove the value of traceability. So you know, as you can see from this infographic, companies are actually able to quantify the benefits of traceability. You know, improved product uh, production efficiency, uh, reduction in lead time, uh, real-time data for better better uh, decision making. So the benefits are 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 real and um, the traceability initiatives are going to continue to expand and evolve. Uh, initially 130 years ago, MECO delivered systems that marked letters and numbers on steel mill products. And today we're still doing that but we're also marking 1D and 2D data uh, matrix barcodes on products in automotive, medical device, aerospace, electrical, consumer electronics, and, and, and many, many more. So you know, from catheters to fuel injectors, the need to trace product manufacturing data is, is more critical now than ever. So, when you're looking to integrate and incorporate part marking into uh, some type of, of assembly process, some type of, of inline manufacturing system, uh, there's, there, there's a uh, tendency in a lot of ways to you know, just pick something that will work for every application. And, and one of the challenges with that, especially um, in, in uh, the, the, the state that we find ourselves in today, is you know, you have a lot higher costs with that type of system. Uh, there's features, benefits that you really don't need for your application. So things that you're maybe paying for, uh, but really um, not things that are going to benefit you in, in, in the application that you're specifically using it for. Also, in terms of machine complexity, there's, there's more things, uh, more features and, and, and capabilities to the system than you need. Oftentimes, that that means more programming and setup required on you know on, on your end to get started. So, um, you know, we we like to keep it simple um, and use the KISS method, you know, when when appropriate. The the third uh, bullet point here is really the the pitfalls of the hybrid approach. Um, being all things to to everyone, you know, doesn't really work well when it's not optimized for any one specific application. So, you know, our the, the MECO approach, we like to really do a little bit of the homework up front to figure out 
what is the right type of, of marking solution for um, for the needs? You know, what's the is it laser? Is it dot peen? Um, if it's laser, you know, what power level? What wavelength? What what um, type of power source? If it's you know dot peen, um, you know what 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 the the mark you're trying to achieve, the cycle time, and understanding all of those things to make sure that the solution we're bringing to the table is 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 optimized for the application. And then lastly, if you do have uh, an all-in-one approach, a lot of times that means there's more components, there's more things to maintain, and also there's more points of potential failure. So there's more things that you know can go wrong uh, with that system in, in the in the overall system chain, meaning that your mean time between failure would be would be lower than uh, if you kept it simple. All right, so now I'm going to talk about five different ways that you can really streamline your system integration. So first, uh, look outside the box. Uh, and by box, um, you know, rather than the one size fits all solution, you know, go for something uh, that's low footprint, um, has a, takes up a small amount of space. So if you look at uh, the black uh, U-model head here. This is a dot peen system, very small footprint, can, can work in a lot of automated environments and doesn't take up a lot of space on an assembly line. Uh, also, our laser rail uh, shown here in the upper right-hand side, uh, again, small footprint and can be easily incorporated into a, a, an assembly line without taking up a lot of space. Uh, and then at the bottom here you see what we offer in terms of a safety seal so rather than assuming that you need to box in the entire part this is what i also mean by uh, looking outside the box you may want to consider a solution like this so this is a, the safety seal is a system that we've designed and developed at meco it's been through a number of iterations and it's been around for about 15 years um, but it, it really works to seal against the product and can be used when you have large parts that you really don't want to build a giant box around. So again, uh, look outside the box for, for solutions. Step two, or, or you know, tip number two, think addition by subtraction. So really, you know, what that means is skipping the laundry list of expensive just-in-case features that you may never actually need. Instead, um, instead, uh, try to pinpoint the features that are most important to your operation and then you know work to kind of build up that solution with the functionality that you need so for example um, if you need a laser system with machine vision you know looking at even machine vision by itself you know looking at the field of view that you need the uh, angle of incidence the viewing angle uh, the type of lighting or external lighting the camera resolution so that you can get enough pixels per per cell if you're reading a 2d code or you know there's there are a lot of things that um you 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 need to do to kind of build up the right solution uh rather than you know something that's kind of built in sort of good for good for everything all right the third one is you know knowing your options so when you know are you working with challenging part shapes if you uh, look at the uh, bottom right we have a, a system where we can change the focal distance based on different part heights that we're we're marking so if you have a stepped part or uh, something with different different features you can uh, you can implement this solution and actually get a variable offset distance do you need um, a precise mark or is there a certain depth that you're trying to achieve by working with a knowledgeable expert we can recommend a, a variety of solutions based on your specific needs so uh, at meco we have a wide variety of, of technologies both in dot peen and in laser and one thing to keep in mind is that you know, all of those different technologies um, you know for example on the laser side we have different wavelengths those different wavelengths react differently with the same material, so you can achieve different effects. We also have different power levels. So 
uh, you may want to increase the power level to achieve uh, a deeper mark or maybe to improve the overall cycle time. So those are all considerations and, and things that you know may be important to you as you kind of go through your process and understanding um, what, what's all available to you. All right, tip number four, communication is key. And in this case, I'm not just talking about controls engineering, I'm, I'm talking about also the fact that, you know, at Mecca, we're in constant communication with our customers uh, every step of the process. So we really want to help mitigate any risk in the projects up front. So from the initial design and helping with all the different options that we can go through to determine what the right solution is for the, for the application, keeping those lines of communication is, is critical. Uh, for example, if you're looking at putting a, a, a a laser system or even a dot peen system into a cell. Uh, do you need a remote front pan or a remote pendant? Those are things that we offer that if we can talk through that stuff, that we can make sure that the design and the implementation is a success uh, just from, from the start. On the communication side, as it, as it pertains to uh, PCs and, and PLCs, we have a lot of different options here as well. So. On the PC side, we have uh, developed graphical user interfaces that connect with customers' ERP systems like SAP, uh, any ODBC databases, XML files, things like that. Uh, on the PLC side, we have uh, what we offer is, is uh, Ethermark, and Ethermark actually allows you to communicate directly with the laser through a PLC and even not just trigger it and, and you know fire the laser, things like that, but also to control some of the variable data to uh, manipulate objects, all of that uh, as well. So it's a native communication protocol. Uh, we Again, because we're a Rockwell and Compass partner, our, our laser and dot peen systems actually are add-on profiles with a full set of add-on instructions or AOIs. Again, something to, to keep in mind as you kind of go through your, your plan for how you're going to integrate the, the communication portion. And then the, the final tip that I have for, for today is uh, once that purchase order is signed, for, for MECO, that's really just the beginning. So when you are working with potential solution providers, make sure they're providing that, that long-term training and support. So what that means for, for us is, you know, we have uh, free sample marking for life. That's both when you're getting the system initially and we're trying to work through options of what's, what's the right solution for the, need, uh, for the application needs. But then, you know, years down the road, if a new material comes into your manufacturing process or a new product, uh, platform needs to be put online. We will also do courtesy marking uh, for you to to help set your your laser settings or your dot peen settings. Uh, we have live support, the ability to remote in uh, with either E ones or Team Viewer, and we also have a full parts inventory for immediate shipment. Uh, we do on-site preventive maintenance. Uh, we also do training uh, for PMs. We have, I mentioned the application side, and then we have a uh, faster turnaround and a full two-year uh, warranty on not just the parts, but the labor and travel associated with it. So, uh, and lastly, we do do account reviews as well. So you know, we're happy to uh, come on site and get a view of, of what you're doing and see how we can potentially help you with anything that you're doing now or have ideas of doing in the future. So again, um, you know, direct part marking is, is, uh, is ever increasing. Uh, more and more companies are, are looking at how they can do this to put permanent traceability on their products. And we at MECO have a, a full range of solutions and we're happy to help you with, with whatever your needs may be.
So at this point, I, I have my email address on there. If anybody has any questions that they want to send me sort of separate to this, or like I said, if you're interested in setting up a, a you know, specific meeting, we can do a, a virtual meeting, we can do uh, virtual lunch and learns, anything like that um, that you're interested in, please reach out. Uh, if you have any specific questions, I'll, I'll take a look at the questions box now. And uh, and just type those into the into the question box. I'll just give it a give it a second here. Okay. Well, if you don't have any questions, um, again, I, I would be happy to get more down in the weeds with you guys, go through, you know, try to keep this kind of high level, but we can go into uh, very specific things on laser safety, um, machine machine guarding, all of that sort of stuff. Uh, we're happy to have those discussions, controls, conversations, whatever you need, and, and we can bring our experts in to work with, with you and your colleagues. So. Uh, if there aren't any other questions, really appreciate your time. Thanks for your attendance and uh, look forward to uh, working with you soon.